Hello, everybody. So I picked up a toaster oven because I want to melt some crayons. I want to do a recycling unit with some kids, and I thought broken crayons would be a nice combination of the process of showing collecting, sorting, maybe chopping them up into smaller pieces, and then um, reprocessing them into something else. And I bought some molds, so I got these are $10 for these four, and I guess this is the bonus mold um clamshell so there's your basic triangle kind of shape and then uh some animal kind of paw prints head kind of thing now because it's a 20 dollar um toast oven only one of those will fit in at a time so now we'll get to see about what temperature seems to be a good temperature to melt um, crayons. Seems like the hardest part of work with crayons is peeling the paper off um, without making too much of a mess. I ended up sometimes just slicing down, um, but I'm also slicing off part of the crayon. Um, and then chopping up a little bit some of the crayon to get that. Um, now, I looked up temperatures, and Crayola says the crayons melt between 105 and 140-ish, 140 145, something like that. Uh, someone online said they were they melted their crayons in the oven at 275. Somebody else did 350. So I'm going to try in a toaster oven um, 250 and see what happens and how long that takes. So here we go, gonna put them in, open it up, put them in, and see what happens. We'll find out in a few minutes. So I pulled it out after eight minutes at 250. It is very liquidy. Um, it started melting at about one minute. You could see things getting um, soft and kind of gooey and get a little bit of liquid. Uh, so now we're gonna see how long it takes for this to um, solidify. So it's been about a half hour, but I messed with it at about 15 minutes and I think I cracked the neck yeah. at about 15 minutes. So we're gonna melt it back down again. Um, it does, you know, come out like that, but I wonder about maybe some Pam, some vegetable spray. Um, and obviously I could have added more crayons because there's some, some space there. But we'll see if uh, melting it back down again and letting it sit for a full 30 minutes will make the neck work. So I remelted the crayon because I had broken the neck when I tried to take it out too early. So now I let it set, and now we're gonna take it out. I just wonder how hard it is to take out all of them. So basically you gotta do this, so uh, we'd be messing with all of them at the same time, right? And obviously I could have added a little bit more um, mix, a few more crayons, because it can get full size, and come on. I don't want to do it too hard too fast. And I do wonder if I should get some Pam or some um, vegetable spray, some baking spray. Ta-da! And there is our crayon. I, whoa, hit the table. I melted it at um, 250 in a toaster oven for about eight minutes and then let it cool for about a half hour. You know, it's got that nice indent how things get. Um, so there we go, making crayons or recycling crayons actually.